Rebuff Lydia here and welcome back to a new flea market haul on my channel. So today I am here to do the flea market haul of July, uh, which is um, pretty good because I'm kind of up to date, uh, at least as of right now when I'm recording this, although uh, I don't know when this video will be up on my channel, probably during uh, August. Uh, but yeah, I am pretty uh, happy that I am uh, this up to date uh, with this and um, yeah I'm just here to do the haul of July which is uh, if you saw my previous uh, haul from June you know that that wasn't like uh, I didn't find like a lot of stuff uh, in June and I guess July is kind of the same as June was so not a whole bunch of stuff I do think I found a little bit more than in June but uh, again I decided that I'm just going to put everything in one uh, video because I don't feel like it needs to be separated in two parts. I hope you guys are okay with that. I'm just going to show you guys all the stuff that I have uh, found and uh, that way we can uh, move on to the August haul eventually, in, probably in September. Uh, but uh, for now uh, let's see what I found uh, in July. Now, uh, before I jump into the bigger and more interesting stuff, uh, I'm going to show you guys some pictures of, um, and you can already see them on the screen, of what I found, you know, the smaller bits and pieces. Uh, I do remember that I found a, quite a few of the little um, trashies or uh, trash pack, little rubbery figurines, which I really, really love, I love to collect them. Uh, I have found some other little bits and pieces, you know, just little random stuff, uh, one or two figurines from uh, different um, collections, uh, some awesome like uh, Looney Tunes figurines, and there are uh, some dragons over there and I, I, I uh, don't know what else, um, but yeah, so a bunch of uh, smaller bits and pieces. Now back to the video, so I'm going to move on to the bigger stuff, the more uh, interesting uh, things. I'm going to start off with the plushies, um, because uh, and right now I did find uh, a few uh, plushies, not a lot of them, but uh, these are still worth mentioning. And I'm going to uh, start off with this little one, and um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I do think this little character's name is uh, Kuromi and uh, she is from uh, the Hello Kitty uh, Sanrio uh, franchise and I think she is uh, super cute and uh, a super fun little uh, plushie I did not have a uh, uh, Kuromi in my collection although I'm not like a huge fan of the Sanrio uh, stuff or Hello Kitty itself but it's uh, still uh, something really cute and uh, she is super cute. I think she's like kind of like my favorite character from that um, whole uh, franchise. Um, now, one thing I wanted to mention is that unfortunately her... Um, I'm not sure what to call it. Her little hat, cap, beanie, not sure what, what she's wearing on her head is uh, made out of PVC material. And it's, I can see that it's already starting to disintegrate and crack. So I really have to be careful not to just, um, you know, lose the that shiny uh, PVC material coat that's on it. Eventually it will just all simply disintegrate and crack, which is unfortunate because I'm pretty sure underneath this uh, skull over here it won't be visible. Yeah, that's the downside of uh, PVC material. That's why it looks good when it's, you know, new and fresh but eventually it will just uh, disintegrate and it will look uh, pretty messed up so uh, that's why I'm not a big fan of it now another a little plushie uh, is this dog uh, which is uh, a keychain by the way or uh, you can put it on your bag or whatever wherever you wanted to um, as you can see it's gold color so it's not really like my style honestly to wear something like this uh, or uh, you know to actually put it on a, on a, my backpack or somewhere but um, I don't know I just really liked it 
I really kind of like how it has this uh, punkish uh, vibe to it, and with these um, what what do you call these uh, brain fart? I don't know um, studs. I think these are called studs, but uh, but I may be wrong. Uh, and I really like the color with the bunch of little shiny uh, little stones and I don't, I don't know just something about this little keychain that grabbed my attention um, really like the white mohawk as well so I think it's a fun little toy um, I'm not sure if it's a leather material or like a fake leather um, seems to be kind of like leather so uh, I'm hoping that it won't start uh, again disintegrating des over time but we'll see not sure what, uh, where I'm going to put it I'm just thinking about hanging it up somewhere on a on a, on a shelf or uh, somewhere just for you know decoration um, because I think it's it's a fun thing but I'm not going to put it on my bag or anywhere else uh, plus over there I, I don't like wearing like um, plushies and whatnot on on keychains and whatever because they will just eventually get really worn and you know break or really dirty and um, I don't know it's just not my thing but uh, you know I, I do know that a lot of people like doing that and uh, you know to each their own and uh, last but not least with the plushies I found this super cute and pretty big too as you can see um, wild dog uh, plushie now uh, as you may know from my previous free market haul videos that I really really enjoy uh, getting and collecting these uh, this type of plushies and most of them that I own in my collection are made by Wild Republic um, which is a, a company that's really good when it comes to making like lifelike uh, animal plushies I really really love, love collecting them because I think they again they look mostly lifelike and uh, they are really cute and uh, good looking plushies. Now this wasn't made by a Wild Republic, I'm actually not sure about the company. It says K&M International Inc. Uh, 2007. Never heard of it before but as you can see this little wild dog and it was really cheap like one dollar only. It's like brand new so uh, and I did not have a wild dog in my uh, in my um, collection so I just uh, grabbed it because I think uh, he looks uh, super adorable and, and it's, it's something just really like unique and rare when it comes to plushies I guess because I have never seen one uh, like this before so I was uh, really happy uh, that I found it for such cheap price too and uh, yeah that's about it for the plushies so not a lot of uh, them uh, to talk about although I do have here some um, um, they are not exactly plushies, but they are more like uh, voodoo dolls. <laughs> and if you have been following my recent um, free market hauls, you know that I started collecting these, and I'm always happy to find more of these uh, watchover voodoo uh, little voodoo dolls. Basically, these are again like keychains because, as you can see, this one has a string attached to it. Um, and I, I do think these are really fun. This one is a like, little like devil with black wings and a little pitchfork, uh, and still has it also has like little horns made out of uh, of wire, which is really uh, fun in my opinion. I just have to put a little string to it so that I can hang it with my other ones that they are. You can't see it, but they are uh, up there on my uh, shelf. And uh, this one is. Uh, I'm guessing she she kind of reminds me of Pocahontas, so she is a really fun little one, and this one does have a string. So, and I have also found this uh, little one, which is I don't think it's part of the Watch Over Voodoo um, merchandise, but uh, it's it has the same feeling to it. It's like a little voodoo giraffe because this is a giraffe with uh, those little googly eyes. Uh, one of the eyes was actually missing, but I uh, think that I had these uh, small little eyes uh, here back at home, so I was able to replace it. I don't know, I just think it's it's a really fun little um, voodoo <laughs> a giraffe, and I just had to grab it. 
And there is something that I found really uh, interesting, um, and I did not know about these. There are these, and basically these are like little plushies made out of felt. Uh, this is from the same company, uh, but these are called Watchover Angels. And this little angel boy is actually holding like a cupcake, which is super cute. It also has like a, the little bell. Or here now he is missing unfortunately the wings they were supposed to be like little um, silver colored wings made out of plushy so I have to figure something out probably uh, trying to try to replace it somehow um, but uh, yeah just something new that I did not know uh, existed until now so I have to be on the lookout for more of these little watch over angels because I do think they are super cute and since they are kind of part of the collection of the Watch Over Voodoo I just thought that, you know, I might as well start collecting these as well. Uh, so since I talked about Voodoo dolls, let's move on to the dolls. I haven't found a lot of dolls on, honestly, but I'm happy with what I found. So I have here uh, another Mycene uh, Barbie doll. Uh, again not familiar with the characters or the names. This one uh, got uh, red hair, um, beautiful brown eyes and beautiful face. You know, I'm getting, uh, I don't mind that she's naked because I'm getting these to be uh, customized later on. So, um, and I already did customize like two of them. <laughs> I have a bunch, a bunch of them in a, in a box waiting to be customized, but you know, eventually I will get there. If not, I will probably just sell them off. But for now I'm just uh, picking them up uh, whenever I can uh, find some of them because I think they are uh, really uh, beautiful dolls. And she does not have any flaws or anything so that's uh, awesome. I have found one more of the little enchantimals. Uh, this one is uh, the bunny character. I think her name is uh, Brie Bunny if I'm correct. And of course she is missing her skirt and shoes which is... Uh, a really common thing when it comes to the ancient Mold dolls when you get them um, from the flea market but otherwise she is in really uh, good condition the hair is in pretty pretty um, good condition I guess I could call it good condition not perfect but uh, good and along with her I have found three uh, of the little ancient Mold pets which I'm always happy about because they always are missing uh, the air pets um, you will be able to see them better on the picture, but one of them is the little fox, the other one is the little tiger, and there is also this little, oops, this uh, little um, lamb. So yeah, some of my dolls now have their pets, and I'm really happy about that. And last but not least, uh, I found a um, little uh, Ella surprise uh, doll, and I really like her. She is the... Um, the goth uh, girl, little goth uh, chick and um, she has seen better days her uh, glitter from her hair has um, kind of rubbed off and uh, she needs some uh, uh, help with her makeup because uh, again that's a little bit rubbed off unfortunately as you can see she is naked and I'm not happy when these little dolls don't come with, uh, with uh, clothes uh, I don't mind if, if they don't have like their original clothes, uh, but I do like it when they, they come with some kind of uh, low surprise clothes because it's just really hard to make clothes for these little ones, so I'm always trying to um, hopefully uh, find some replacement clothes at least for them. But yeah, that's one uh, little one. Uh, and by the way, I really wanted her otherwise because uh, I really like her uh, look. And you know, the goth style is really close to my heart. Uh, now moving on uh, to some troll dolls, I guess I could call them that. I found one of these um, large ones. And probably one of my largest troll dolls ever. Uh, this is a dam, uh, or dam uh, troll doll. And as you can see, she is super cute. And she also has her, guessing probably original clothes that I washed. She has a this cute uh, yellow dress, 
uh, with some yellow pants underneath and she also comes with a um, backpack which is uh, again super cute you can actually put some stuff in there because it uh, works with a velcro uh, now I don't think her hair was supposed to look like this it looks kind of um, like some parts of it were uh, like uh, chopped off or cut um, not really happy about that but it does not look like super weird or anything so uh, I don't mind um, but yeah otherwise she is in absolutely great condition and uh, just a super cute beautiful uh, little troll little <laughs> I mean large troll uh, doll I have no idea where I'm, going, where I'm going to put her because I'm really starting to run out of space on my shelves for my uh, trolls uh, I have found two more of the little tiny um, zelfs I actually do own this one already but with a different finish or a different coat this one as you can probably see from the picture that this one is a glittery version and I do own this in a pearl pearly coat version if that makes sense so um, yeah I just picked it up and this one I think it's the little witch zelf uh, and I did not have this one in this size, so i um, really happy about that one. And last but not least, I have found one of these trolls that I have no idea what these are. I just thought that it was uh, really cute looking. It's this one, <laughs> and it's a green uh, troll with... Obviously she is like a, uh, a mother and uh, has all of her clothes little apron and uh, the shoes are molded on so you cannot take off those um, now with a little bit of help from a facebook group where i am uh, uh, a member uh, i found out that these are called golden gnomies so these are gnomes uh, basically golden nomies and if you want to know more about this you can do a search online uh, from what I uh, got the info uh, from the um, the group these were released uh, back at the start of the 90s uh, in uh, Germany and they seem to be kind of rare too because uh, this is the first time ever in my life when I see one of these uh, anywhere and uh, that's why I had to ask what these are because I had no idea but I, I, I have to say that I really like her, I think she is uh, really fun and cute and it's kind of funny too because someone in the group joked about the fact that since she has um, these big ears that you can't really see from her headkerchief uh, that she is like uh, Yoda's mom so <laughs> um, yeah it kind of gives you that vibe with the green skin and the large ears but again super cute I really uh, like these so again if you want to take a closer look at these these are called golden gnomies with a g so gnomies if you um, pronounce like that so yeah a uh, really fun uh, find and another fun find which I wasn't uh, expecting because again these are really rare these are uh, or this one actually uh, are the mystic babies, little mystic baby uh, dragons and as you can see this one is uh, again in great shape I only have one more mystic baby which I found uh, like a year or two ago at the flea market so they are not uh, common at all she is in super great condition, I really like the hair, it's in a really nice um, shape as well uh, she is obviously missing again the wings which is I'm fine with because honestly to me they look more like baby dinosaurs than baby uh, dragons and she was also missing the little stone from her cheek but I was able to uh, replace that with no problems so um, yeah she is uh, really cute and I'm really happy to add her to my other one to have uh, at least two of these I know that there were like three series released of them so they are uh, there are a lot of them to be able to find but no luck so far so only these uh, two that I have the other one that I have is a blue one with a red uh, hair by the way I think that one is from the first series and if I'm correct this one is from the third series so um, yeah 
now uh, let's move on to some uh, figurines that I uh, wanted to show you guys and mention. First off, we have a um, Extreme Dinosaurs. Uh, for a second, I, I uh, was uh, searching for the name of the the series. Extreme Dinosaurs, uh, made by Mattel, uh, figurine. Now um, this one is uh, one of the. I don't know the name of the figurine, but it's a Velociraptor, and uh, he has seen better days. I know he is missing some pieces, uh, which I'm not surprised about, but. Yeah, he is uh, pretty beaten up and has a bunch of chew marks, like on the nose. Um, I was actually afraid that the the stop part of the of the mouth or of the face is going to fall off because it's, because it has just so many chew marks, uh, chew marks on the tail and on this um, part as well. But you know, uh, when I picked him up, it was he actually had some gum stuck to his mouth inside of his mouth but I was able to uh, get that out from there so yeah he has been well played with um, but um, you know I just felt like since extreme dinosaurs are pretty rare over here that I just uh, going to rescue him and uh, again he was like just like one dollar or something so it was worth it to me at least if I will be able to probably eventually maybe <laughs> find a replacement then I'm going to grab that one and uh, just you know just replace this one but but for now I'm just uh, keeping him because besides him I only have one more uh, extreme dinosaur in my collection so again they are pretty uh, rare figurines uh, now moving on to some Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and uh, here is the first one this is a uh, vintage TMNT figurine and uh, it's a Raphael from the. Um, not sure what's the transforming turtles. I think that was the the name of the of the collection, or I like to call them the. From pet turtle to, ninja turtle, <laughs> collection. And these are basically the ones that you can, um, you know, open up and uh, exchange the head, and whatnot. You know, just turn around the head to get the pet turtle head and uh, he also has like a little tiny uh, turtle tail uh, now um, he was supposed to come with uh, kind of like a set of rubbery uh, material uh, legs to make it look more uh, more uh, turtle like but unfortunately those are missing which is uh, kind of the usual thing with these transforming turtles that they are missing the rubbery parts. So yeah, he's, he is missing a pair of legs, um, but otherwise you can still uh, transform him if you wanted to, and he will look something like um, this. It's a little bit weird, but uh, you know, it's 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 something that they made back then, and they actually bought this back, uh, brought this back to the 2012 series too as well because I do have two turtles um, that are transforming and I do think this was also I think in the 2003 series as well I'm not sure I don't think I have any of them in the 2003 series but I do think that they were available in that series as well so yeah something weird but otherwise the figurine is in uh, good condition so I'm happy with it uh, now here is a really um, I'm not going to say grail price, uh, grail piece, um, because I'm not really able to display these, so I can't really say that I really like them all, but of course I would love to have them all, but I'm just really happy that I found it, because this is, seemed to be like super rare over here, and I'm talking about the jumbo sized uh, turtles. And as you can see, this is Leonardo from the 2003 series, and it's a huge figurine. I mean, just look at the size of it. Um, he is missing the swords or the katanas, but otherwise he is in really good condition and, uh, you know, otherwise complete. Uh, but I'm just really happy with this find, and 
So far, this is my second of the giant or jumbo sized turtles. The other jumbo sized turtle that I have is from the vintage series, the from the vintage. Uh, I think it was a, from the third movie um, where they are in these uh, like samurai uh, costumes. I have uh, Raphael from that uh, series in you know jumbo size, and that's about it. So again, these uh, jumbo sized turtles are really uh, rare and um, from. For, from what I know, they aren't like as super common uh, anywhere anymore. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm just really happy that I was able to add him to my collection. Unfortunately, I do have to pack him away because there is no way that he would fit in my glass cabinets back there with my other um, turtle figurines. But I'm still happy, and I, I really would love to find the other uh, turtles. So maybe in the future, I don't know, um, and he was pretty cheap too, by the way, uh, he was like five dollars or something, so I think that's a great price for a jumbo sized uh, turtle. Uh, more turtle stuff, I have found uh, one figurine from the 2012 series, and this is the samurai version of uh, Raphael, of course missing the helmet because I'm pretty sure he came with a helmet and this is also the deluxe version uh, from um, I know that from the extra paint that he has on his uh, armor uh, so he was supposed to come with a like a war horse as well but that is unfortunately missing so who knows maybe I will be able to find the horse separately uh, but for now I'm really happy because this is my first samurai turtle from this series so I'm happy with that, and the uh, last uh, piece from the turtles is this uh, topper, PCO topper uh, figurine. Uh, you know, you get these with the cops from the movie in the cinemas when, when the movie was still on. This is from the Michael Bay version movie. Uh, this is Raphael. I also have Donatello in my collection, so I'm, I'm happy to uh, add one more turtle. Hopefully I will be able to find uh, Leo and Mikey eventually. And since I'm at the PCO Topper figures, there is also this one, which isn't <laughs> turtle related by the way, just showing it, showing it to you guys. This is from the Angry, Angry Birds movie. I haven't seen the movie, I'm not really interested in it, but you know, since it's a PCO figurine and I do collect those, I just uh, picked it up. And uh, yeah, so that's about it for all the turtles. And before I wrap up this... Um, whole video. The last thing I wanted to show you guys is this huge playset, or I mean it's pretty huge. Um, it's like a old abandoned um, castle port or mill. It actually kind of uh, reminds me of a uh, like a water mill or windmill, more like a water mill actually um, because of this part. Now, uh, I did not know when I picked this up that um, what's it from. Uh, I just picked it up because it was like 50 cents. So I was like, there's no way I'm going to leave this there because I don't know, I just really like it. And again, I don't have <laughs> free space to uh, display all of my, um, you know, play sets and uh, large figurines like the Leonard that I showed you guys. But, you know, I'm just. I just can't pass good deals like this and eventually I may be able to display them I don't know if you get a, like a bigger house and I, I will be able to get a bigger room to display all my stuff then maybe then I will be able to put this on a display as well put some figures in it and uh, again I did not know from that this was and later on I found that this is from um, a newer line of the Power Rangers I, I used to watch Power Rangers when I was a kid, but since then I really like fell out of the out of the whole uh, franchise, so I don't really know anything about it. But it's pretty cool, and uh, some parts of it uh, like turn, and you can close this uh, this cage over here. So it's kind of like a, also like a dungeon of some sort. This part over here turns around, and they fun thing about this, if you put batteries in it, uh, it will give some uh, some sounds like uh, 
some evil laugh. Um, I'm guessing this is like a how the hideout of a evil character in the show. Um, and also like uh, lightning um, sounds and magic sounds and uh, yeah so it's, it's a fun playset. This is how it looks from the back. A fun playset. Uh, I'm not going to start like collecting Power Rangers stuff because it's not really my thing. Uh, anymore, I really liked it as I said before when I was a kid, but uh, I am not really interested in it anymore. But I don't know, I'm just going to uh, display some figurines with this when I get the chance. And I do think it looks just like a beautiful piece, nothing's really missing from it uh, except for the figurine, and um, nothing is broken on it either. And for that price, again, I just couldn't pass this uh, opportunity. And uh, yeah, so that's about it for uh, most of the stuff uh, that I found on the flea market and um, the other stuff you were able to see it on the pictures. Not a whole bunch of stuff, but I'm pretty happy with the whole I got. Uh, some pretty great pieces over here and, and I think the, the biggest um, fun find it was that jumbo size turtle. I think that was uh, my... Uh, most uh, I was most happy about that find but again I really enjoyed the other ones and I really really uh, happy with all of the stuff that I found so they are making my collections bigger and that's what it matters <laughs> um, but yeah so guys uh, thank you so much for watching my whole video and if you liked it don't forget to leave me a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see the next free market haul video hopefully uh, next month sometime and um, you know just overall if you are interested in other kind of toy and doll reviews and you won't be able to comment on this video because of the um, YouTube policies but you will be able to comment on my Facebook page if you want to and uh, the link will appear down below somewhere and you can go ahead and like my page if you haven't done that yet and uh, you can comment whatever you want what do you think of the stuff that I found and uh, yeah, just overall, that's about it, and I will see you guys in the next video.